Hello, this is the game as Dave Aubrey, and this is how you can unlock and use Gideon Fry's delivery booths in Deathloop. Scan throughout the Isle of Black Reef for a handful of password protected lockboxes known as Gideon Fry the Delivery Guy booths. These booths were useful for solving several optional puzzles in Deathloop, in addition to a few of the main tasks too. Getting access to these booths as early as possible will make progressing through the game much easier, so follow these steps in order to unlock and use them for yourself. There are four delivery booths total in Deathloop, one for each of the game's areas. Each delivery booth is activated using the same code, so once you've got the code, everything else will become much easier. Unlike most of the passcodes in the game, the delivery booth code isn't found in a note, email or audio log. Consequently, the code won't automatically be saved in your discoveries when you find it. To use this unique code, you'll need to write it down or take a screenshot when you find it. Once you've used the code to unlock any of the four lockers, it will automatically be saved in your discoveries forever. To find the code, go to Fristad Rock at noon. This area will be available once you've reached the Search Fear's Fortress quest step as part of the Afternoon Delight Visionary lead. Go to Fear's Fortress and enter from the main bunker door. This door is usually heavily guarded by a ballistic turret and several Eternalists. You can find this door just below the overlook where Juliana places her antenna when she invades your game. You can easily hack the turret from the rocky hill on the right side of the area, and use either your slab abilities to sneak past your foes or take them out. Your choice. Once inside the large doors, look to your right. Behind the glass there is a room containing several items. You can walk around to enter this room, but one option is to simply shoot out the glass and climb right through. Pick up the items you find in here, but pay special attention to the whiteboard in the room. While many whiteboards don't have anything useful on them, this one does. A code written on the board. You'll need to either write down the code or take a quick screenshot as it changes with each save game and therefore our code will be different to yours. Once you've got the code written down, head to the nearest delivery booth. There's one near one of the tunnels here on Fristad Rock. Once you enter the code, it'll be saved as one of your discoveries permanently. Now that you have the code, you can unlock a terminal on each of these delivery booths. Just enter the code, use the terminal, and you'll be able to deliver an item to any booth in any stage. The delivery booths can provide you with either a battery, a crank wheel, a nullifier, or a ballistic turret. The battery and crank wheel will both be perfect for solving certain side objectives, while the nullifier and turret will be able to help you fight against certain visionaries. Just one of the reasons Deathloop is so good is the fact that you can approach each situation in your own way. And if you need more reasons as to why Deathloop is excellent, make sure to read our full review on thegamer.com and subscribe to the Gamer's YouTube channel if you like this video. We'll have more Deathloop videos ready for you in the near future. Thank you so much for watching.